All right, drugs, the state's economy, online sexual harassment, those are just some of the topics Representative Shelley Pingree is tackling at home in Maine while Congress is on break. Now she's tackling your questions. So we're going to start with the heroin epidemic here in Maine because that's something you've really been champion championing for. Why don't you explain kind of what you've been doing with that? Well, last year, Congress passed some bills to try to get the states more assistance. Um, they haven't been fully funding, so we've been fighting to make sure that the funding is there. Because for states like ours, with not enough treatment beds and really a growing problem that doesn't seem to be getting any smaller, basically losing a person a day, we need a lot more support. I had a roundtable today or yesterday with a group of people who are in recovery and heard a lot of the things, you know, firsthand. What, what do they need? What happens when you've got that little window after a detox and you can't get to a bed to make sure? Sure you get the treatment that they need and it was clear we need more funding more support in our state and a lot more education for the families and the people who do the treatment you're also looking into funding to improve the state's internet broadband service it sounds like that's having an impact on our economy absolutely we had an interesting meeting earlier in the week um, on broadband access meeting again with people in communities who are trying to do everything that they can you know it's shocking but we're 49th in the country it's not gonna be shocking if you have dial-up you're gonna know this we're 49th in the country both in the cover coverage and in the speed. Well, that holds you back. If you've got a small business in a remote part of the state, you can't send out the materials you want. Customers can't find you as well. It's not good for telemedicine. We really need um, some support in our state. We're hoping if there's an infrastructure bill, this will be a way to improve this infrastructure. We believe it should be treated like electricity. You know, everyone should have access. Right. And let's quickly talk about sexual harassment online because that's another thing that you feel strongly about, specifically with service members. Absolutely. I just sponsored a bill. I've worked on this issue before. But this newest revelation that millions of, or not millions, many, many women in the Marines were having their pictures posted in compromising ways, um, not with their consent or knowledge. And we want to make sure they get the benefits that they deserve, they get the treatment, and that that is recognized as sexual harassment. In fact, it's a crime. Now, Denise, just going back to the heroin epidemic really quickly, because we're listening to some of our viewers right now, Denise says not enough places in the county for people who need recovery. Is that um, absolutely true? In fact, there's not enough places in Maine. Many people who um, seek treatment end up in beds in um, uh, Florida, California, Massachusetts. Um, many of them are good places, but the fact is you need to develop um, uh, contacts with people who you're going to know on the outside. You need to develop a network. You'd be so much better off whether you're in the county or in southern Maine. You need a bed that's close to home. Um, we have to do something about this epidemic. This is a, a terrible addiction. We have to treat it like an illness and we have to give people the support they need. And it sounds like in talking with people who have gone through that process, uh, it seems like a no-brainer that we would learn from them. I mean, what are you taking back with you when you go back to work? Absolutely. Well, that was we've talked to, you know, many of the providers and people who work on the side of helping with the solution, but to sit down with a group of people who have been through this, some of them many, many times trying to cure their own addiction or lost family members, um, A, it was really courageous of them to come and tell us their stories, and we were really grateful for that. But you learn so much more from someone who says, you know, this didn't work, but this did, and we need to do more of it. And the thing that people told us more than anything else was um, when you go through that detox, the day you're, you know, you're, you decide to make that uh, change in your life, you have to have the treatment there right away. And when you get out, you have to have some support to make sure you can live in a, a sober house for a while, that it's, you have some access to getting a job, that you have a little bit of support while you're putting your life back together. Um, otherwise, you may find yourself back in the same situation again. Right. All right, Representative Shelley Pingree, thanks so much for joining us and sure. answering our questions. Thanks.